Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Himayatullah Khan and uh, I am going to explain uh, to a classification of categorical variables which is also known as cross types. And uh, cross types can be done for uh, two categorical variables. So let me start with my data file that is implies, uh, implies data save and uh, it has 474 observations and uh, I would like to uh, explain how can we uh, classify uh, data uh, by two different categorical variables. So let me start with analyze, descriptive and after descriptive I would like to press cross tabs and uh, under cross tabs you see uh, since there are two variables so one variable should be entered row wise and one variable should be uh, entered column wise. Let us suppose I enter the gender variable column wise and the employment category uh, categorical variable uh, row wise and then I also uh, click on statistics and under statistics I will uh, uh, see what kind of statistics do I need for uh, categorical analysis. Since uh, we cannot calculate or we don't want to calculate correlation coefficient between two categorical variables so I would like to click on chi-square uh, so I will check this and then I will continue after continue I will go to ok and uh, you know on this screen uh, you can see there are three tables the first table basically <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the first table basically tells me case processing summary and it is nothing more than that it gives us valid cases as well as missing cases if there are any missing, missing cases since there is no missing cases see the total number of uh, valid cases is 474 cases which is also equal to the total cases because there is no missing value so all the observations are valid. The second table uh, on the screen basically gives me to a classification of the categorical variables. One variable is gender which has two categories that is male and female and uh, the job category is also another categorical variable which uh, has three categories clerical staff, custodial staff and managerial staff. So if you read this way so it shows that the total number of clerical staff is uh, 363 and out of 363 156 57 157 are male and 206 are female. Similarly uh, the total number of custodial staff is 27 and all of them are male there is no female among uh, custodial staff. And the total number of managerial staff is uh, 84 out of which 74 are uh, males and uh, 10 are females. If you read in this way it says that uh, total number of uh, males is equal to 258 and uh, majority of uh, them are belonging to clerical category that is 157 out of 256 belongs to clerical categories. 74 belong to managerial uh, uh, category and uh, 27 belong to custodial staff. If you look at uh, the total number of females that is 216 and uh, 206 out of 216 uh, belongs to cler clerical category and uh, no female belongs to custodial staff and only 10 females belong to managerial category. The last table on this screen shows the chi-square test analysis and chi-square test analysis is basically used to measure the association between two categorical variables that is gender and uh, the job category. So let me first uh, write uh, the uh, test of hypothesis for this. So my topic is cross tabulation or two-way classification these are the two names of the same thing. So here my null hypothesis is no association between gender and uh, job category right and uh, my uh, alternative hypothesis is there is association between uh, gender and uh, job category. Uh, the third step in test of hypothesis here is uh, level of significance and level of significance we basically uh, uh, denote by alpha 
and uh, the predetermined value of alpha is equal to 0 0.05 and that is predetermined or predecided pre determined um, test statistics test statistics here is a uh, chi square chi square test and uh, mm, the last step in test of hypothesis here is decision rule by decision rule i mean what can we decide what, what can we decide on the basis of the chi square test so i will uh, compare the observed p value with the alpha value if the observed observed p value uh, is less than the alpha value uh, alpha is uh, 0 0.05 then we will reject uh, h naught that is null hypothesis otherwise we will fail to reject null hypothesis okay so null hypothesis is denoted by h naught so now let me look at the chi square test and uh, its p value so if you look at this table that is chi square test the uh, person chi square test statistic is 79.277 and its p value is 0 0.000 since this value that is 000 uh, p value this is basically p value which uh, is equal to significance value in uh, spss spss gives significance value instead of p value and both are, both of them are the same and this value is equal to 0 0.000 which is less than alpha that is 0 0.05 so we will we will reject null hypothesis and we will conclude that there is association between gender and job category right i hope you understood this and uh, hope you can join me in my next video thank you very much